Shalom Israel. Like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bar Shem Shah. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect throughout the four corners of the earth. Wanna go um over a few scriptures on you damn Christians, man. You know, uh a lot of you it's two thirds. You gonna be destroyed, but you know, through the spirit, before I came into the truth, I was in a, a Christian church, you know, dealing with that bullshit. So uh you got some of the elect that's gonna come up out of there. And since we so close to the end, maybe the Lord having, you know, reaching back out to that field. Uh, 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 idolatry to what bring the elect back into the uh, fold because really after this man it's it for you damn churches you churches you not you not gonna fucking make it that doctrine that plantation doctrine that that that, that devil them Edomites Christianity that's not gonna get you salvation how could a religion that was used to enslave us free us that shit just don't make no sense, man. So through through your Shem Yahweh Shai, he put the spirit on Apostle Tahar to put the head out on you damn churches, man. And and, and Christianity. You know? Cause in my my you know, my spirit is like, you know, fuck you motherfuckers, man. You ain't gonna get it anyway. The Lord gonna destroy your asses. Because here it is, 20 fucking 17, going in 2018, and people still wrapped up and tied into that bullshit, man. Only people I see tied into that damn church shit is them fucking old people. Grandma, 80 years old, 70 years old, old as hell. Because everybody know the churches is bullshit, man. Everybody know that. They making movies like First Sunday. I'm going to continue with this. Do like a chop up, like a, a PowerPoint or something. They making movies like First Sunday with Ice Cube. They got Don't Be a Menace while drinking your juice in the hood. Grandma dancing all up in the church and shit. The Ice Cube, what? He, he robbed the church, man, in First Sunday. You got all, all of these comedians. You got the movie uh, Lottery with Lil Bow Wow, Mike Epps. He making fun of the churches. You know? Oh, I want a wife like this. Oh, no. My house should look like this. All, all the whole church shit, that shit was, is being made mockery of, man. That shit is a fucking joke, man. The dude that was in the truth, he fell out. But back, in the, back then, at the time, like six years ago, we was at his house and he was arguing with his mother about the church shit. She finally said, yeah, I know it's bullshit, basically. She said, I just go for entertainment. And that's all the fuck it is, man. But you going, you people going to be fucking destroyed, man. This, this fuck, you people simple-minded as hell. This Jenkins guy, whoever the, all you damn false prophets out there, man. But the Lord got you bamboozled by this shit. But guess what? The Lord probably researching Jerusalem again one more time with this whole Christianity nonsense to pull the, the last uh, bit of hope for elect out of there, if possible, and destroy these fucking strongholds, man. And if you weak-ass Christians don't like the way I'm talking, then you ain't got to listen to the fucking video, man. This is the truth, man. That, that's that's what's wrong. These religions have fucking effeminized our people, man. Effeminized them. And I ain't even really off the hell with the woman. I'm talking about you men, man. Has effeminized you. Made you cool now. This Isaiah 56 and 10. His watchmen are blind. You damn right. The who and who's the watchman of Israel? You uh, you uh, you church leaders, man. Y'all the watchmen. It says what well, his watchmen are blind, because y'all the people that Israel look up to to watch over them, watch for the signs, the news, and all of that. But you fucking blind. You can't see this truth. 
Some of you can see the truth, but won't admit that it's the truth. So the Lord said what? His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They don't know shit, man. Talk about Esau and Esau. No, man. The Arabic way to say Esau, I mean, Jesus is Esau. But that don't fucking mean that it's Esau, man. And people believe that shit. Then he want to tie that into the breakdown that it's not saying Esau, it's saying Jesus. But since, since the Bible deal with Latin, Greek, and Hebrew words, not fucking Arabic, man. There's really no such thing as Arabic. Arabic come off of Hebrew, man. Like Ibn, come from the Hebrew word bun. Uh, Ashalam Aleikum. Shalom come from the Hebrew word Shalom. Shalom. And so on, Malik come from the Hebrew word Malak. There ain't no fucking such thing as Arabic, first of all. Arabic is some made up shit. Ishmael ain't speak no fucking Arabic. He spoke Hebrew because his father Abraham was a Hebrew. Genesis 14 and 13, man. This dude uh, talking about some, oh, that's talking about uh, uh. Uh, e Jesus is the end of the world. So these dudes and people believe that shit, man. Try this fucking bullshit. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs, man. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yeah, they don't know shit, man. They don't know shit. They don't know the Greek word. They don't know no alophilus. They don't know about Fule. They don't know about Hellenists. They don't know about Hellenistas. They don't know about uh, the Greek Empire. The four generals. Cassandra, Seleucus, Lysimachus, Ptolemy. They don't know about that shit. The Solution Wars. The Six Solution Wars. They don't know about that shit, man. They don't know about that. They don't know about history. They don't know about prophecy. All they do in these fucking churches is sit there and sing fucking stupid ass songs to you. And you people sit there and, 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 and uh, you listen and take that shit, man. And believe it. You don't research fucking nothing, man. But guess what, man? My ex-girl, man, she was in that Christian shit. When I was young in the truth. I used to battle with her all the time. And she know that shit is fucking bullshit. But guess what, man? Like Isaiah 30 and 8 said, it says what? They love to hear fucking lies, man. These people love to hear lies, man. They love to be lied to. And the pat these fucking preachers, so-called preachers, these pastors, whatever the fuck they call themselves, man. They know the people like to hear bullshit, so they get up there and sell them bullshit, man. Let's go on with this. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. And I love dogs, man. I got a pit. Matter of fact, I just bought me a pit bull, man. Nice little red bitch. But anyway... One thing this bitch do, she bark, man. She bark. Look, somebody, we around chilling, the brothers chilling. Somebody, like, somebody walking down a block that we don't see this bitch bark to give us a, 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 a warning, man. That's what dogs barking for. Now, my Eve, she got a fucking miniature, uh, a miniature, what the fuck is that? A miniature poodle, man. I hate that fucking dog, man. I always hated them little fucking... I hate that fucking dog, man. You know why I hate that dog? Because that dog don't fucking bark, man. I walked in the house one day. The motherfuckers was sleeping. The dog... I walked in on the fucking dog. And the dog was just fucking getting up. That's why I'm getting rid of that motherfucking dog. I'm in process of getting rid of that fucking dog as we speak. So what you do with a dog like that? You fucking get rid of it, man. That shit is useless. 
It can't protect you as little as hell. The shit can't fucking bark. It's sleeping down. That's what the fuck wrong with these pastors and these preachers, man. The scriptures say you can't bark. You can't warn. And what's that warning? You don't talk about martial law. You don't talk about nuclear destruction. You don't talk about the coming of your Shai. You don't talk about the kingdom. You don't talk about the RFID chip. And if you do, you say you can take it as cool. You don't prophesize nothing about the scriptures, man. You cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving the slumber. And that's what these uh, they do, man. They rip the people off and get rich and fat and, and, and live a luxurious, lavish lifestyle. Let's continue with this. Yeah, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. Yeah, because the Lord blocked you from understanding the truth. You and your congregation. They all look to their own way, everyone from his own gain, from his own quarter, or from his own church that he got set up. Hey, every one of them is out for themselves, but I'm going to hit you fucking passes with something, man. You fucking Christianity motherfuckers with something. When your congregation take that chip and know that they seal for death after they take it, they going to come looking for your ass, man. And they ain't going to want to talk. They going to want to kill your fucking ass, man. They going to want to hunt you down and fucking kill you, man, when they take that RFID microchip. Come, yea, say, yeah, I will fetch wine, and we will fill ourselves with, with strong drink, and tomorrow shall be as this day and much more abundant. Meaning what? They preach that prosperity shit, man. We ain't in no fucking time of prosperity. The Lord told you he put us under the hammer, under this devil, man. And we're going to suffer. We're going to be subject to payments. We're going to put money in a bag with holes. We under the curses, man. Motherfucker talk about some prosperity doctrine, man. Prosper in this fucking world. Who the fuck want to prosper here anyway? This shit is all a fucking cesspool, man, of wickedness. Got me stirred up, man. I'm tired of this shit. This is a uh, Joe 15. One of my favorite scriptures on you damn churches, man. This is Job 15, 34. For the congregation of hypocrites. Who is that? All these damn fucking, uh, anything outside the truth. Islam, especially niggas following this shit. Islam, I'm from the city of North. There's nothing but fucking Muslims around. What do the niggas practice what they preach? Hell fucking no. But since we on you church, uh, black consciousness, none of you new niggas just get in that shit for money, man, or benefits, man. You don't even believe in that shit. But since we getting on you churches, man, for the congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate and fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery. And why the Lord call you the tabernacles of bribery? Because who bribed your ass? The United States government through the Rothschilds? And gave your ass tax exempt status that you are not to teach certain things like political issues, the coming of the Lord, the black, the real Jews being the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in the ghetto. You got a fucking gag order on you. You've been bribed through the fucking government, man, for tax exempt money. And you could still get your fucking money, man. But that's why the scripture said you are greedy dogs that cannot have enough. Say uh, you make 10 million, you got a church, right? Christianity, you made 10 million there. The government might take half of that shit or a third of that shit. So fucking what? You got five fucking million dollars, man. You greedy motherfuckers. And you ready to shut up the gospel for that? The Lord gonna fucking kill you people, man. Give me a... Uh, let me get an, another one, man. It got me 
out here with these fucking devils spashing out. But hey, man, that's what it's, that's what the spirit the, the spirit is. Let the spirit flow, baby. But I'm in the cut though. But I'm in Esauville right now. But I ain't gonna quench the spirit. Fuck these devils, man. You know, this Ezekiel 14 and 9, another one of my favorite scriptures. And if a prophet be deceived when he has spoken the thing, I, the Lord, Yahweh, the true name of the Heavenly Father, have deceived that prophet because two thirds got to go, man. And I will stretch out my hand upon him and I will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. And that's why a lot of these pastors dropping fucking dead. Reverend Ryan Christian, uh, the pastor up in Ohio, got shot in the face. And by the word, the word pasture comes from the word of vegetation. Uh, 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 it's from what the sheep eat. The sheep eat the pasture. P-A-S-T-U-R-E. So when you call yourself a pastor, that means you are the one that's feeding the sheep, the vegetation, the greenery, the life, the truth. Because vegetation or greenery come from the word uh, verde, from the Latin word verde, which means truth. That's where you get the word verily from. So when you feed somebody greens or you feed them vegetations or you feed them the pasture, you feeding them the verde, which is the vegetation is green, which represents the truth. But you're not a fucking pastor. You're not feeding them the truth. You feeding them fucking po uh, poison ivy with fucking raid on it and boric acid. That's what the fuck you poisoning the sheep and our people love to have it so. And I will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel, verse 10. And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. So the Lord going to kill you fucking fucks that's up there teaching that bullshit. And he going to kill a fucking congregation, man. Because a lot of people going to be like, oh, I know. I was just following him. So you're going to think the Lord going to have mercy for me. He going to burn in the nukes right along with your ass, man. And with that death to America, man, it come up out of that bullshit. Shalom.